Our nation's defense against ballistic missiles had its roots earlier in aerial defense against bomber threat. In the early 1950s, Nike Ajax was an effective weapon against aircraft which could carry the A-bomb. To counter the developing threat during the mid-1950s, the defense was improved with Nike Hercules, effective against higher speed, higher flying jet bomber formations. Each system used an expendable missile, radar controlled from the ground to the target. The technique is called command guidance. By 1955, the intercontinental ballistic missile capable of carrying a nuclear warhead was under development. It could fly thousands of miles in minutes. The warhead's destructive power was beyond comprehension. The nation needed a defense to counter this awesome threat. The Army, Western Electric, Bell Laboratories, and Douglas Aircraft had gained much experience in developing Ajax and Hercules. In 1955, the Army called on the same team to initiate studies for an anti-ballistic missile system. The result? A concept for ballistic missile defense, which was proposed to high-level Army and Department of Defense committees. The first ABM defense system was called Nike Zeus. Here's the way it worked. This is the threat, an ICBM warhead, 1,000th the size of a bomber. Its speed, four miles a second. In the Zeus system, an acquisition radar detected, acquired, and tracked the target and continuously fed information on its location to a computer in a defense center. The computer assigned the target to a battery. The computer further assigned the target to a target track radar. Using continuously updated information, the computer determined when to launch an interceptor missile. A missile track radar guided the Zeus missile toward intercept. The computer sent a signal by way of the MTR to detonate the interceptor's warhead at the precise moment to destroy the target. Less than three minutes elapsed since the enemy ICBM was detected. 30 minutes since it was launched from 5,000 miles away. The Zeus system was intended for nationwide deployment as either an area defense or defense of ballistic missile launching sites. Early in 1957, the Army gave the go-ahead to the industrial team to initiate R&D effort. At this time, little was known about missile development behind the Iron Curtain. Then, on October 4th, 1957, Russia launched Sputnik 1 into orbit, demonstrating a proven ICBM capability. This added further urgency to the Zeus program.